Happy holidays. Welcome to the inaugural show of Natalie's Bakery. Um, it's going to be a video blog that I'm going to post from time to time about my baking escapades because um, I'm an avid. Your escapades! <laughs> I'm an avid baker and have a notorious sweet tooth. Um, today we're going to be joined by the one and only James Casey, um, who plays in Lettuce and with me in the Trey Anastasio band. Um, and it did happen. Yeah. Yes. So welcome to the show. You're welcome. Um, we're totally stoked to be making gingerbread men. Well, you're I'm make, totally you're, stoked. You're making gingerbread men. James will be assisting me. Yeah. He's, you know, maybe not the most experienced baker. None. Not at all, actually. But he likes to eat things that I make. Um, yeah, anyway, so we're going to make gingerbread men, um, but we're going to decorate them as little gingerbread Jameses and Natalie's. Little musical gingerbread men. Um, so right. we're going to get started. <laughs> <laughs> by making the batter. And um, first you have to melt a half stick of butter and then we'll be adding a half cup of sugar with my great measuring cups that James loves and wants to steal from me and take home. Uh, yeah, that's from the Easy Bake Oven home collection. Um, what right. happened? Yes, it's baked. Let's get it. <laughs> yes. Yeah! Got half a stick of butter, <clears throat> half a cup of sugar, really easy to remember actually, and then we're going to add in some grandma's molasses. Oh yeah. Grandma's. And I'm just going to be brandishing a spatula the whole, whole time, so stick around, it's going to be really fun. That's happening. All of that is <laughs> happening right now. Um, no, okay. no, I didn't. No. Next step, we're going to um, add in just one egg yolk. So we're gonna have to separate the yolk from the white. It's probably not the best thing for me to be doing. Yeah, James is maybe up for it, but now. No, kind of, I mean, you saw me there. put the dash in. That's yeah, all yeah. you. All right, yeah. okay. It's not You're, really that hard. No, it, it's hard. You've eaten shells. So for you it. see, I'm just separating the the yolk from the white, and then throw that in here. We can discard the egg white because our frosting doesn't call for egg whites. So that's um, the first like section of the recipe, and then we're gonna start with our flours and dry ingredients, and then slowly add that back to. Me. We're adding two cups of flour. Is that the best form of, of pulling out flour yeah. with your hands? You want to uh, try? No. No, no. My hands no. are clean. If that's what you're worried about. I'm slightly worried. All right. So, oh, great. So we're gonna measure out a half teaspoon of each of these things. So this is half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon baking soda, and baking. Powder, and I'll let you do that. It's an easy measure, Liz. For future reference, never let me cook in your kitchen. And then here we've got, um, in here we've got a half teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of nutmeg, a whole teaspoon of ginger, and a whole teaspoon of clove. Right. Mm. Well, now we're gonna mix our dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, and James is going to what? simulate what we're gonna what? an electric mixer with those. Big muscles. Wait, I'm going to s <laughs> with this. <laughs> sure. Gosh. And I'm going to slowly and gradually add the flour in. Amazing how, how much <laughs> yes. I look like an electric. See, I'm, I am too feeble to do this part of the process. So we're mixing in the flour, starting to get a little thicker and a little more dry. Um, and then we're going to stick it in the refrigerator to chill for an hour so that the dough is the right consistency to roll out. Good batter, right? Yeah. Here we go. And it's not really at the consistency to form a ball right now. Kind of push it off into that side and cover it with saran wrap and stick it in the fridge. And um, we'll be back in an hour. Rolling it out and making some gingerbread people. <laughs> Music nerd joke. All right. So now we're gonna add our, sorry, our chilled dough. Make sure to flour your hands and the rolling pin because it will stick. Um, James, you want to crack at this or you want me to go first? I'm going to let you go first. All right. Yeah. You can watch. Yeah. Um, I've only been hit by these. I've never actually. But you know, we were just talking about it. This is baking for real people. This is just a hobby of mine that I like to do. And it's not perfect, but it <laughs> sure is delicious. Um, These are going to be a little bit thicker. Why don't they just like come out? It almost did. 
I could, I might. Let me know if you want me to assist. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I'm much better at this than you are. What are you, what are you trying to say? And we're sticking these guys in the oven for about eight minutes. How many minutes? And then let them cool completely. How many minutes? Eight. Eight minutes. Yes. Yes. So yeah, and then we'll get to icing and decorating them. That'll happen. Mm -hmm. At some point. Gingerbread! So, man, um, man. We can start recording now, but I'm gonna pop to pop up in eight minutes. So. She's still, she's still, she's still recording. Oh, you could be singing that terrible. Uh. And so this is Christmas. And what have you? Another year over And a new one just begun And so this is Christmas I hope you had fun The near and the dear ones The old together a quarter cup of butter, two cups of powdered sugar, um, a you, teaspoon of vanilla, that's a lot of sugar, oh my god, um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then just add milk until it gets to the consistency you want. So yeah, now we get a fun part, we get to decorate these gingerbread that we made. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed episode one and um, I hope you'll Why was I check here? out the next I, I did nothing. <laughs> you I, did I, everything. I did. I'm, going to, I'm going home. <laughs> bye. It was bye. <laughs> this is weird. Bye, James. Bye. It's weird. <laughs>